Today, I'm gonna to be doing a teardown of this 2016 Nissan Rogue LED headlight. Uh, before I start tearing it down, I wanted to show you how you can test this to make sure all the LEDs, LEDs are working. So here, I've got the wire harness, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my power supply here ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this black wire, and I'm gonna go ahead and Ground it off. And then I'm gonna go connect the, the next the white wire directly next to it to my positive, and you can see that, that will that will turn on the high beam. The third wire, which is orange, will operate your your low beam. And then we'll go ahead and disconnect the ground flip the wire harness over and on the other side is another it's kind of a if you can see this it's a gray color so we'll go ahead and ground off that gray one and then we'll go ahead and first we'll connect the purple wire right next to it and let's see once I get my arm out of the way you can see that the purple wire here will operate your side light Next, we will connect the yellow wire, which will turn the DRL, um, kind of the, the low mode on. And then finally, we will connect the, the red wire and that will turn on the, the brighter version of the DRL. All right, so now that we've tested all of the LEDs, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing this lens. So I will be back in a minute with the lens removed and then we will tear down the insides. All right, so I've got the lens removed here and before we can fully remove it, the side light, we need to detach the wiring clip. On the, the side marker, the wire harness is soldered to the back of the board. You can't just pull this clip off. You actually have to remove this whole board and this wire harness is gonna stay permanently attached. I've gone ahead and broke this off because I don't intend to I don't intend to keep this. So I'm just gonna to toss it to the side and get back to disassembly of the rest of the light. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by removing the screws holding on the daytime running light. So there was three screws, three screws holding on the daytime run light. Okay. With that out of the way, we will go ahead and unclip it from the, the harness and set it aside. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove the turn signal housing. And next we're gonna start removing the screws holding on the high and low beam shroud. Okay. So we have that shroud removed. At this point, we need to go to the rear of the housing and we need to loosen the, the headlight adjusting bolts. So this is just a eight millimeter wrench. So loosening those two adjustment bolts has allowed this mount and the bottom one to slide forward as far as possible. Now there is one more mount here on the top of the light. It's kind of hidden back here. If 
but we're going to take a pair of needle nose pliers and squeeze down on the clips to allow it to slide forward. released from the, the three points. Now our high and low beam are separated. So now we can start unclipping the wire harnesses. Okay, so there's just two clips here. There are two clips here on the bottom of this housing. So we can go ahead and set that aside. And now we're down to our final pieces. So we just have two Phillips head screws re remaining. So we will go ahead and loosen these. And then from the rear of the housing, just take your finger and push through on this rubber grommet. So once you push that rubber grommet through, you can push it back through the rear of the housing and pull all the wiring through to the rear. And now we can remove our little circuit board that controls all of the LED lights on the inside. And here is here is the, the part number on the LED control unit. And th that's all there is to this. So now we have the high and low beam separated, the wire harness, the control unit. and the daytime, the daytime running light. Thank you for watching.